let's look at the third and final step of the bullet map and that's focus how to find your focus and i want you to remember that the purpose of this bullet map is not to organize or plan your project you could but because it's a sunday night and you want to go to bed and the goal is to work out what's next the goal is not to sort out the whole project it's just to work out what's the next best thing so what this bullet map will do for your child is that it will help your child get the perspective everything into perspective when you write it all down and start sorting it all out it goes from being a massive thing to something that has boundaries around it and the child looks at it and goes oh right that's what i'm meant to do i'm not meant to sort out everything to do with african history or the amazon rainforest i'm just meant to sort this and learn this little bit and answer this question and that's when something happens inside of them they feel some peace that it's manageable and the next step is not to sort out the whole project but work out what's the next best thing to do and at that stage we put a circle or a square in the bottom right hand corner and you ask the question what's the next best thing to do here and often through this process it becomes quite obvious there might be two or three things and it could be oh i need to go on the web and go to wikipedia and research the wikipedia entry on the amazon rainforest for example and you decide when should we do that and they say well tomorrow after school and you say yes and instead of after school you say 4:30 we'll sit down, 4.30 Monday, we'll sit down and open up Wikipedia and read about the Amazon rainforest. Now, it could be that you start that with them and then leave them to it and come back to check that they've done it, depending on their age and stage. But that's the focus. What are you doing next? And once you've got that, your job is done. You're at peace, they're at peace, and you've become a mentor, a coach, and you've grown together and you've kind of become a bit of a hero there. That's a bit of a hero moment because I, I can't overstate it too much that when you do this with your child, they're in a stressed situation and you're helping them fight their way through this thicket of stressful thoughts and so on that seem to be attacking them, but you've led them through and cut it away and they've come out. And instead of just telling them what to do next, you've led them through a process that they think to themselves, gosh, I could maybe do that for myself next time. And they feel a sense of empowerment. They see simplicity and clarity. And there's that togetherness that happens when you do it. So I hope that happens for you and that you learn how to do this. In the next segment, I'm going to show you how to do it in real life a real life demonstration in real time so that you can really relate to what this, how this would actually work. So let's look at what it really looks like in real time.